Amy Yates, and this is my informative speech. All-star cheerleading is one of the fastest growing sports today. According to www.usasf.net, there are currently 1.5 million participants in all-star cheerleading in the United States alone. In the past few years, all-star cheerleading has spread across the world. Now countries such as Germany, England, China, Japan, Australia, Switzerland, Scotland, and Mexico come to the U.S. to compete in the largest cheerleading competition known as World. All-star cheerleading is different from sideline cheerleading. In many ways, unlike sideline cheerleading, all-star cheerleading cheerleaders strictly compete and do not cheer at football or basketball games. The cheerleading routine is two and a half minutes long and consists of a dance, cheer, stunt, pyramid, basket tosses, and tumbling. While the cheerleaders are competing, they are performing the songs mixed together to make sound effects as each skill is performed. All-star cheerleading is not school related. The ages for all-star cheerleaders range from 3 to 19 years old. However, you are placed on a team according to your skill and age. The different age group consists of minis, which is 3 to 5 years old, youth, which is ages 6 to 10, juniors, which is ages 11 to 15, and seniors, which is ages 16 to 19. All-star cheerleading consists of five different levels. You do not have to be any certain age to be on a level. For example, you can be 5 years old and be on the highest level, known as level 5, or you can be 18 and be on the beginning level, which is level 1. According to About.com, cheerleading is over 100 years old. On November 2, 1898, Johnny Campbell led the first cheerleaders at a University of Minnesota football game. However, those cheerleaders were all men because cheerleading was originally created for men. Over time, cheerleading evolved into a women's sport, even though almost 50% of coll collegiate cheerleaders are male. According to www.lifescience.com, Competitive cheerleading is considered one of the most dangerous sports for females. From 1982 to 2007, there were 103 deaths due to cheerleading. There is an extremely large number of girls who have suffered anything from sprain, fracture, to a laceration and concussion. I myself have, have had four knee surgeries in the past three years due to multiple ligament tearings, among many other things such as a fractured ankle, back problems, I suffered a concussion after being thrown 20 feet in the air but not caught by the people below me. Cheerleading is dangerous and does have a lot of minor and serious injuries. However, so does any other sport. All-star cheerleading is a great way to stay active, fit, and learn to discipline and leadership and meet lifelong friends. People ask me if I regret cheering because of all the knee problems it has cost me. I tell them I don't regret one second of it. Cheerleading taught me many things and has made me the person I am today.